Hey, you do get fish to hear y'all. Glad y'all came to join me. Y'all, I, I got a little video I want to share out. We're getting all the rain with uh, Hurricane Ida, so I'm having to sit in the house, nervous wreck, can't get out and go fishing. But I think it's going to clear up overnight. I don't know how hard, how high the water's going to be tomorrow, but I think I'm going to get out and check it out and start off the month of uh, September, y'all. I've had a great month of August, so I'm going to be making a video of my my month of August, all the fish I caught and everything. So that'll be coming to you. But I want this video I want to share is a tip I've done on bait y'all keeping your fresh bait and frozen bait and everything i've touched on frozen before but i ain't really touched on keep how to keep your and prepare your fresh bait and everything so i want to share this video with you and we'll get it planned and uh i'll touch back with you after the video y'all I'm going to help y'all with some tips on this segment with your baits, y'all. What to do with your baits and help you catch more fish and uh, everything and what I do. And it, it does make a big difference, y'all. So we're going to touch on that. So I'm going to flip it over to the house and we're going to get to talking about it, y'all. Yeehaw. Yeah, I told you at the lake, I want to touch base for y'all on what to do with your baits and stuff to help you have the edge of catching more fish, y'all. I've done videos on this before as far as freezing your baits. I got this vacuum sealer. You can go to Walmart and get it. This one here is a Ziploc. Got me a bag of skipjacks I've caught. They're not running monster size right now, but I'll take any size I can get my hands on. I mean, not bad. But y'all, I'll put in a bag what I think I'll use a fishing trip. And... I'll do I'll probably do two in that I used to overpack them and I'd waste a lot of skip jacks but I got it in the bag Turn it on. Seal them tight. Suck all the air out, y'all. And y'all, this is where the tip comes in. That's why I do all my frozen baits. And believe me, it makes a difference. A lot of people will stick them in a freezer in a plastic bag or in, even in a, uh, just a plastic Walmart bag or something. Or Ziploc bags even. But you're not getting that air out of there, y'all. And these things get freezer burnt. And yeah, they'll still catch fish, but I promise you, they won't catch them like these frozen ones do. Flatheads is a, a fresh bait, live bait fish, y'all. And I even catch some good flatheads on frozen skipjacks here and there. And it ain't a doubt in my mind. It's because I'm comparing them and getting all the air out of them and vacuuming and everything. But y'all, it ain't, it ain't just that, though. 
on your fresh bait you're wanting to have fresh bait to fish for y'all as soon as you catch your skipjacks even if you want to keep some bluegills for a couple days to fish fresh bait y'all get them on the ice as quick as you can and man i get home i vacuum seal all my fresh bait because you're getting that air out of them and they'll keep a lot longer. You can keep these for four or five days and still go out and fresh, fish fresh bait, y'all. Then, you know, after a few days, stick them in the freezer if you don't use them. But I know most people don't. Most people keep some fresh bait just once again in a baggie or a Ziploc bag or but I'm telling you that extra mile if you work as hard as I do to catch fish y'all that extra mile makes a difference And uh, I think you'll see a lot of the difference in your production of catching fish and catching more fish, catching catching better fish, y'all. You spend a little money on vacuum bags and everything, but man, when I'm out there fishing all day. I'd rather spend a little money and have more of a chance catching a fish than sitting out there with a freezer burnt bait or uh, fresh bait what has gone soft because air has got to them. When you get these things vacuum sealed, y'all, I'm telling you, it makes a difference. But that's my tip. I'll get these all situated and I'll show you everything. So just hang on, y'all. YouTube, go get you one of these vacuum sealers. You can get your wrapping paper by the Walmart brand. You save money. Your fresh bait. Vacuum seal them because believe me, It'll keep your bait a lot fresher. I even put some of my piece, fresh pieces in there I didn't use today. That way if I go out tomorrow, no air is getting to them. Believe me, you'll, you'll tell a big difference than just throwing them in a plastic bag or in a Ziploc bag even thing though y'all every time you go out and get them date them and use the oldest date first y'all and that keeps them rotated and keep them fresh till next time the crazy old man appreciate y'all take care i hope this tip helps you y'all it helps the catfish too y'all i know everybody's got their own way but Believe me, fresh bait is the best. And if you gotta freeze it, why not freeze it to keep it from getting freezer burn or anything? Because uh, it makes a difference, man, I'm telling you. Some might disagree, but it makes a difference for me anyways, put it that way. But I hope this helps y'all. Thanks for hitting the buttons, ring the bell. Come hang out with Catfish Terry. Make sure you take care of all my members. And until next time, yee-haw. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated, y'all. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all. I hope that helps. Uh, I want to start doing some segments like this, and I'm going to have a video coming up with this right here. I'm going to show y'all how to get...
make a video on, on how to make a sinky rig to get out and catch all that skip skipjack and everything. And this is one I made up today, but I will be making a video showing how to do this show. So be watching for that video. Going to show you how to get out and catch that bait, y'all, where you can catch those big fish. And uh, I'm going to have a video coming out on the month of August of all the fish I caught in the month of August. And I think that'll be a good video. But thanks for watching. I'm going to show my members. If everybody, please go make sure you check my members out. Even better if any of y'all would want to become a member. Get your name up on this board, the Flathead and Blue Cats and Channel Cats. I'll get your name actually on the end of my videos and stuff. And all my great skipjacks and uh, shellcrackers, y'all. I appreciate all of you. I'm going to run my members and be watching for the next videos. And hopefully I can get back out on the water tomorrow, y'all. But I appreciate everybody. Take care. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated, y'all. Yeehaw.